Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your girl Abby, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the products and tools that I purchased for my micro lock journey. Now, I did do a video where I just shared how I prepped for my DIY micro lock journey, and in this video, I specifically wanna go over the products and the tools that I bought for it. So let's just go ahead and get right into that, and if you are new and not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe, you won't be disappointed. I have a lot of videos coming up, so subscribe and just join and I hope you really stick around. So getting right into it, and this is not in any particular order. One of the first products I purchased was a microfiber towel, and actually it was two in a pack. And the reason why I purchased this was because what I read was with locks, using a regular towel where, you know, a cotton towel where the, the fibers are loose, you can get more lint in your hair. And I heard it's really a pain having lint and it's something I don't want to deal with so I got a microfiber towel it was a set of two from Amazon and I'll link everything below now my mom has locks and I have not noticed that she has any lint and she has traditional locks with like smaller size small traditional locks but I did I do like microfiber towels anyways and I, prior to that I was using a t-shirt to dry my my natural hair which is something that you can actually just use a t-shirt will work just fine but you know I wanted to buy something new on Amazon Amazon, so I decided to test out these microfiber towels and I will insert them here and also link everything below. The next thing that I purchased is an oversized silk bonnet. Now oversized, maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. Obviously my hair, th these are tester locks that I have. I'm gonna redo them and actually install my hair, the micro locks smaller, but I just know with locks, I've seen how my mom's hair has matured. They get bigger and they get heavier and I just wanted to get a bigger bonnet. I to get a bigger bonnet and I'm just go ahead I'm thinking for the future and just being optimistic that my hair will get long and full with locks so I got this silk bonnet and I just read some good things about this this brand and it's adjustable so you can actually adjust it and I've been using it and it has not slipped off my head it stays on and it's actually pretty comfortable and it's reversible I think the brand is Yanny best or any best could be saying it wrong but I'll link it all below okay the next thing that I purchased are some Jamaican black castor oil now I already had Jamaican black castor oil I had um, the tea tree one that I would use in my hair but I had been watching another girl here on YouTube her name is Kiki J I believe and she you know raves about the A and E a, vitamin A and E, or maybe vitamin A, D, and E, I'm not too sure which one it is. And I'm like, okay, I wanna I wanna test that out. And also, because I was experiencing hair loss, I knew rosemary castor oil was gonna be good for that. So I bought two of those. So I, I bought the rosemary castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and then also the vitamin A, D, and E one. The way I've been using it is I use the rosemary oil on my edges and in my spot that's balding just at night. And then the vitamin A, D, and E, when I actually wash my, my lock, these test locks I have in it's what I use to moisturize them after I mean to hold the moisture in or to seal the moisture in and it's been fine it's been pretty light so that was the next thing I purchased and then going along with that since I've had this castor oil before and this brand I bought some like the the oil dispensers like the oil bottles and that's just to make it easier to actually distribute the oil on my scalp because otherwise it's a big the hole is kind of I, the bottleneck is a little bigger I would have to pour it on my palm um, and I wanted to be able to just easily put it in now unfortunately when I purchased the um, the bottles on Amazon it was like a pack maybe it's 50 but it, it's a big pack I'll, I'll show it to you but you know I'll use it I'll, uh, right now so far I've only used two but I wanted to have an easy way to distribute it and just make my life a little easier when I have my locks that's the goal right life to be easier with locks. The next thing that I purchased are gloves and I haven't used the gloves yet. There's a girl here or a woman here too that I had already been subscribed to for her hairstyles and she got micro locks and she in one of her videos and her name is Kendra Kenshe. Um, in one of her videos she talked about using gloves because so her hair doesn't get snagged by her nails and that's something I actually experience when I wash my hair. If I have my nails done and, and I have gel and it's like lifting, it'll get caught in my hair or if any of my nails are cracked or chipped, it gets caught in my hair. I don't want my hair to be snagging once I have my locks in so I'll probably be using the gloves but honestly so far when I've been doing stuff with my tester lock, I have not used the gloves but 
I'm sure I will make use of them down the line. So the next thing that I purchased is edge control. And I already had edge control before. I was also using the Eco Styler gel, but I was, I didn't like how when I used the Eco Styler gel, it always got off flaky and it did create like gunk in my hair. Like no matter what, it always had like buildup when I would have my crochet um, styles in. So I did some research and I actually found a channel here. I believe it's Keeping Up With China. And she did a video about the this edge control. I think it's called Edge Booster that she used. And it's water-based and I'm like, that's great. I needed something water-based. So I tested it out. It's what I've been using. It's what I have on right now. And you know, it doesn't last as long as maybe some other edge control stuff. It does sometimes have, after a while, have like a white kind of look, but it washes off easily and it has no buildup, so I'm fine with it. Usually when I have my edges done, it's gonna be for only a few hours or it's not, it's gonna be in the evening or whatever it is. It's not gonna be an all day thing. It's been working well so far. The next thing I, that I bought is a book called The Naughty Truth. Um, and I think I saw this from another channel here. I've watched a lot of micro lock channels and this one very, her channel is very educational. Queen Aleem, Queen Aleem, I think her name is. And so she talked about how good the book was and I do like to read up on stuff. Now, unfortunately, I have not read the book yet, but I do plan to read it. I gotta get on it soon because I'm planning on starting my installation tomorrow. But just watching her videos and watching other people's videos, I kind of have a gist of what I'm, I'm going to do. But that is one of the the things that I purchased this book I heard it's great I need to read it I'll probably spend all of tomorrow reading this book okay so the next thing I purchased is a derma roller it's for I guess it's called no it's not it can't be microblading that's eyebrows right anyways it's a derma derma roller and it's something that people use for hair loss I recently suffered um, hair loss right here I had hair loss on my edges from pregnancy from postpartum I saw videos of people growing their hair back using this derma roller now I've been too chicken to use it because since it is like pins kind of like little needles that you are pricking yourself with the spot that I had um, the hair loss was really Really tender and I wanted to wait until my dermatologist appointment which was this past week or last week to ask the dermatologist what they thought if I should do it and then I go to the appointment I totally forgot to ask so I haven't used it yet but my spot is healing it's not as tender so I'll probably start using it once I have my locks installed but I'll probably ask my doctor first and see what what they say just cuz if you're gonna do it make sure you you research it watch the YouTube videos there's a lot of stuff about making sure it's clean so you don't get any infections and I just wasn't ready to jump right into that but I did purchase that and I'm hoping to use that soon the next thing that I purchased is this hair oil called hair speed and this has also has to do with my hair loss that I was experiencing and I saw great results from people here on YouTube they had great reviews on Amazon and just kind of all over so I said you know what I'm gonna give this a shot I have been using it my hair has been growing back I started using it in October October 26th, I believe, and it's December 18th right now, today, so about two months that I've used it, and it's, I think it's working along with my vitamins and everything else that I'm taking. So going along with that as well, another thing I purchased is a scalp massager. Now, massaging your scalp is great for hair growth. Um, it's something that I've done in the past, but I had this one that you just kind of hold and you do this, but now I see that they sell these battery operated ones or electrical ones. And so I bought one and it works well, but it was kind of intense. So I did it for like the first couple of weeks and then I just kind of took a break because I would do it at night for like 10 minutes and after 10 minutes it just like cuts off that's the recommended time not just from what I've researched but also on the from the actual machine that I got or the scalp massager so it goes off after 10 minutes of use which works out great because I don't have to time it I think it works well it felt great when I used it I just needed to take a break I will get back to using it and I think it did contribute to my hair growing because I got um, the blood circulating again where my you know my scalp where I was having some issues there okay and then the last thing something I have not received yet but I'll probably put here is the retightening tool so I am gonna be doing my own reties if I find someone that will take it over that would be great but at this moment I have not found anybody that will install my hair my micro locks or retie it I got a retightening tool to be using and also when I install my hair after about a week if everything's great I'm gonna tighten it with the retightening tool so that's everything so far. If I forgot anything, I'll still list it below. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video.
video and that you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I really hope you stick around. Let's get to know each other. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. Bye.